Hey Pisces, I'm on a rise and welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today's topic is love. So whatever comes out involving love, we'll delve deeper, okay? Remember that this is a collective reading. It may or may not resonate with you fully. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you. Remember that tarot could play out past, present, or future. And check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I want to say thank you for all of the likes, the subscribes, tips, and donations to this channel. is greatly appreciated. So what can I tell all my Pisces out there, Sun, Moon, or Rising? So Spirit says you need to surrender, okay? It says have faith that all will be fine, okay? Have that trust. Know your self-worth, okay? Confidence, self-esteem, values. Be empowered by valuing yourself. So there's a need to release control and fully embody, uh, observe, and fully embody your self-worth. It's like, okay, you could be on social media a little bit more than what you need to be. And I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying it's like some type of ideals you hold when you're observing social media, okay? Watching from a distance. You could have someone watching you as well, um, but I feel like it um, influences your outlook on marriage and higher commitments. You know how sometimes we watch movies and we're like, okay, I want to have that fairy tale type of love, or I want to have that fairy tale marriage. And I'm not saying it's all fairy tale. I'm just saying, like, don't base your opinions off social media. It's like you're trying to do something, especially with this ego here. Jealousy, pride, self-preservation, let your guard down. It's almost as if um, the outside things that you entertain, that could be social media, it could be your, the company you keep, it could be anything, right? The ego feeds off of that, okay? Yeah, I feel like um, you still need to fully heal off of a karmic relationship, okay? And that's a relationship that taught you a lesson. It was only there to teach you a lesson. Somebody wants uh, forgiveness from you, but not only that, Spirit is saying forgive, okay? Whatever situation you went through, don't be become hardened, you know, or scorned, you know. It says peaceful mind and heart, freedom from the past. Okay, so you could be looking at other people's situations, thinking back on the last situation that you was in. And Spirit is saying, release that, forgive that. Okay, you don't have to be calling this person up and, oh, I forgive you this time the next. No, it's saying forgive that this even happened. Okay, you can forgive them from a distance. You don't got to call them up and tell them that. But it frees you from further karmic debts. Okay. Yeah. In pursuit, convince and rejection. Let them go and let it be. I feel like you could be trying to force this person. Almost to beg you for forgiveness. Because you have realized your self-worth. It's some type of control uh, that you're still holding on to, Pisces. And there's that transformation, breakthrough, reinvention. You're ready for the next level. Okay. I feel like as soon as you forgive this person, they come in to chase you, but you've already transformed and ascended past that situation. Okay. And I almost said situation ship. So I'll take it how it resonates. Um, you could have been involved with an un unawakened twin or soulmate, okay? Not necessarily saying that that's what this person was. Could have been, all right? I really do feel as though it could have been a possibility because there's a transformation taking place after you forgive this person and you switch your energy up. They literally come and chase you, okay? Uh, you could have other responsibilities like family, okay? You could even have children with this person for some of you. But there is um, limitless potential when it comes towards you, okay? 
and the things that you can achieve with this big goal, all right? You could have um, a business endeavor. You could be an entrepreneur, but it says claim your place in the world. You have unlimited potential and you could be holding yourself back or pausing yourself or slowing things down for yourself when it comes to money and abundance because of the company you keep, okay? Yeah, I do see that heartbreak energy. You could have recently just got out of a heartbreaking uh, relationship or a situationship with someone. With the fool, you could feel like the fool in this situation when it comes towards this person from the past, right? And that's why you can't fully surrender. Look at all this baggage and shit. Trying to rush and leave out the house, perfume flying, all kind of stuff, right? Spirit is saying, surrender all your burdens over. You, you're not the fool, okay? I mean, a fool in a bad way. You do need to get in this fool energy because it's saying surrendering and moving forward. It's like somebody like, okay, you want to come go on this trip with me today? You don't need no passport. We're going to go to Puerto Rico. Just grab your stuff and let's go. Are you going to be stagnant or are you just going to surrender everything? Like, okay, divine, ooh, thank you. Let me go on here and pack my shit up. It's the energy of as soon as you surrender, the divine picks you up. Like, okay, come on, good. You learned that. Let's go. With the five of pentacles here, you could feel like you could be a little heavy on yourself, like a little hard on yourself, saying like crying over spilt milk, feeling like the fool in a past situation because you realize your self-worth now. And you could be being a little hard on yourself because of that. Let me grab this car. I fell on the floor. Yeah, it's the Eight of Swords in reverse. So the next step is you coming out of this regretful energy, being hard on yourself. But then, you know, you, you pick up the ego, okay? And the ego is telling you, like, take your time, you know, don't nobody deserve you, this, that, and the next. I mean, hey, to each his own, but at the same time, it's like, now I see three people involved. You could be picking up third-party energy, more baggage than what you need. And then these people are taken from you. You see, it's no more water in this cup. The person just dripping out the last little drip of emotion. I feel like that energy is going to backfire on you. Because there's not any real power, okay? Transmutate that energy, that negative energy, and use it for good. Use it to propel you forward in a situation. So with the Six of Wands here, I see you forgiving this person, but low-key. You're not telling them anything because you see how these people on the outside looking in? Okay, you're just cleaning yourself up, working on yourself, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, with the Page of Swords, you're still studying, okay? But this person is watching you. As you begin to pull your energy back, the past person's watching your ass, looking, seeing how they can come in, all right? On the outside, looking in on how they can have equal give and take and really how they can come and take what they want. This person has two other people in their energy as well. That could be that energy like how you were matching. Like, fuck it, I'll just have a third party. I'll just have someone else, right? This person has two tag along. And I almost wanted to say bitches. So take it how it resonates. But with the Empress here, it's letting me know that you're fully embodying this Empress energy. At the end of all this situation in love, you have a transformation. This transformation allows you to embody the full yin energy where whatever energy you possess, you attract. With the nine of swords here, I feel like you're coming out of this energy, okay? You're coming out of this vendetta energy, like pissed off, you know, especially with that knife right there. It's like, mm, try me, you know? And with the nine of cups here, it's like still thinking back about what love is not 
Okay, it's like, you know how you think back on a situation, you're like, well, it wasn't a lot of emotion there anyway. I was happy a little bit, but it wasn't the whole thing of what I was worthy of. Okay, and with the strength card here, I see you having strength to persevere when the, you know, tables begin to turn. That's what you're looking for. You're persevering towards this moment and it comes out with the will of fortune. And moving forward with the chariot, taking a risk, but still overcoming that energy, transmutating a negative to a positive and being able to use that in your everyday life. Okay, let's get some clarity. Mm -hmm. Look what the divine gives you, Ace of Pentacles. It's like, okay, you surrender. You finna surrender, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising? I bet I got you. Let me give you some abundance, some stability. Mm-hmm person from the past you looking at this situation feeling like you missed an opportunity at love with the queen of swords it could have turned you cold okay because this person put you in competition and you were forced to walk away but in that moment you realize your self-worth okay yeah with the eight of wands here it's the energy of the lesson hidden home and hidden hard quick. Okay. It damn near forces you to come out of your head though. Okay. Mm. It forces you to come out of your head and have clarity about where you stand with this person. That's what it shows me. You see this person juggling out here and a lot of sexual energy. Having new beginnings with other people. Okay. Spirit is saying you don't have to be completely open to this person. Okay. Because I see you being closed the fuck off. All right. No matter how elaborate this person tries to come in and offer you some emotion. Right. But it's also saying use that Piscean intuition. Okay. Keep that heart chakra open because you're going to attract the right person for you with this king of cups all right as you forgive this situation and you move the fuck forward you attract your true counterpart okay with the empress it tells me right here you're embodying this empress energy you think the divine even if the person you were dealing with was an unawakened twin do you think because they're not ready, the divine is going to be like, mm -mm, Pisces don't have a chance at love. No, the divine is not going to do that. They're going to replace this person. With the nine of wands here, you're going to see them again for sure. They're going to chase you. They want to have sex with you, right? But with the king of swords here, this person is not passionate enough. They don't have enough emotion for you, okay? You're not going to be fulfilled. You're going to have options. Okay, the divine is going to give you options. But not only that, they're going to give you another partner. All right, this happens after going within, okay? You're going to go within as well and make your next move your best move, okay? I see you really attracting these things because of the hard work you put in. It is twin flame energy here with the 1111. Looking for foundation, stability in a relationship, okay? I see somebody presenting that to you. Oh, but it comes with burden. So it's this person coming back around again. They're going to come back around again, try to resurrect something because it's ended. Okay. This person is all in their head about how things ended between the two of you. I see you moving forward though. Manifesting options. Here we have directing my focus onto what's thriving creates more of what I want. It's like Spirit saying, don't be focusing on... What isn't what you want? Focus on what it is that you want. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. It's like you embody this energy and the universe provides, brings it right back out to you. It says the universe is always conspiring to support me, guide me and lead me compassionately towards the highest good. You can trust in that Pisces, okay? That the universe is gonna match whatever energy you put out. And if it's of the highest good, Expect to receive it because that's what you're putting out. So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thank you for your love and support to this channel. Until the end, peace and love.